Obama goes hiding after what Trader Boberg Dahl just told military court about what happened to him. In 2014, former President Barack Obama traded five of the worst terrorists in Gitmo for Bo Bergdahl, the army deserter who walked off his base in Afghanistan in 2009. This prisoner exchange was immediately criticized by conservatives and many others considering the ramifications of Bergdahl's actions. In case anyone forgot, when Bergdahl abandoned his post in 2009, Six brave men went out in search for him and ended up dying in their efforts to save Bergdahl who they thought was forcefully captured. Now, after three years, Bergdahl is facing the consequences of his actions and has agreed to plead guilty to desertion on Monday. However, even though Bergdahl has agreed to the steal that has not stopped him from talking and what he is saying now has Barack Obama running scared. After three years. The Bo Bergdahl saga will finally come to an end on Monday when he is sentenced for deserting his post in 2009. The case of Bergdahl has angered Americans for the last three years considering the controversy that swirled around his capture and his return home. After Bergdahl walked off his post, his plan was not to return to his army base, but the six brave men who went out to search for him were not aware of his treason and were killed looking for him which Bergdahl does not seem to be all that upset about. Bergdahl spent five years with the Taliban before Barack Obama traded five terrorist generals for the deserters' release. After the trade was complete, the American people learned more about Bergdahl and his cowardly deeds while in supposed captivity. In 2014, Fox News reported that during Bergdahl's captivity he converted to Islam, consorted openly with the enemy and declared himself a mujahid which means a warrior for Islam. If that was not bad enough, what Bergdahl is saying now while he is awaiting sentencing is even more upsetting and proves what a raw deal Obama agreed to. Bergdahl is now claiming that the Taliban terrorists were more honest with him than the U.S. Army has been since negotiating his release in 2009. Well. Maybe the reason that the army is not telling Bergdahl that much is because he spent five years with the Taliban and is pleading guilty to being a deserter, right? Here is more from Fox News. Bo Bergdahl, the U.S. Army sergeant who pleaded guilty Monday to deserting his post in Afghanistan in 2009, says his Taliban captors were more honest with him than the army has been since his release three years ago. At least the Taliban were honest enough to say. I'm the guy who's gonna cut your throat," Bergdahl tells British TV journalist Sean Langan in an interview with the Sunday Times magazine of London headline The Homecoming from Hell. Langan, too, is a former Taliban hostage. Bergdahl, 31, from Haley, Idaho, says he never quite knew where he stood with the army as he performed administrative duties while awaiting his desertion trial. Here. It could be the guy I pass in the corridor who's going to sign the paper that sends me away for life, he says. We may as well go back to kangaroo courts and lynch mobs. Bergdahl is expected to appear for sentencing Monday in a military courtroom in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, after pleading guilty to desertion and misbehavior before the enemy. He could face life in prison. Bergdahl was freed from the Taliban in May 2014 in a highly criticized deal in which the Obama administration agreed that the U.S. would release five Taliban terrorists in exchange. President Donald Trump harshly criticized Bergdahl during the 2016 presidential campaign. Army Colonel Jeffrey R. Nance is the judge who will decide Bergdahl's fate. Factors expected to weigh into the sentence are Bergdahl's years spent as a hostage and the serious wounds that some U.S. service members suffered while searching for Bergdahl. While the Bo Bergdahl case is wrapping up finally, it does beg the question what should happen to Barack Obama for allowing this prisoner exchange to take place. When Obama traded the release of Bergdahl and set free some of the worst terrorists in Gitmo back into the world, he put everyone in danger. If anyone should be on trial and face treasonous charges for their actions that should also include Barack Obama for this disgusting deal that he orchestrated. Five dangerous individuals have been released back into the world who will only cause more innocent deaths in the name of Jihad. And, what did we get in return? A deserter with no honor that has no remorse for his actions, and who still sympathizes with the enemy, the enemy.